All right. Let's begin. So, gonna put on a, a water block for my ram. Now, let's see. I opened one of these. So in order to do that, we have to put on the compatible... Uh, heat spreader here. Because... let's see. Because it has the holes that match up with... the block. Which I already did this, but... Oh, never mind, the end is open. So, it's a nice hefty block. So this will sit like that, here, and then you screw this on top of the blocks. Um, I've seen a lot of people like to put thermal paste on top. I think I'm just gonna go with a pad of some sort. I have like a half millimeter pad that I can use that I probably won't use for anything else. So that's the goal today is just to get the heat spreaders on. Uh, something else you plan on doing this yourself, which let's talk about that for a minute. A lot of manufacturers have, I know G-Skill does for most of theirs, ballistics, which is uh, crucial. Um, yeah, right there. Crucial by Micron. Micron is the actual, is a chip manufacturer. Um, this has a limited lifetime warranty, but as soon as you take your heat spreader off, warranty is void. So do this at your own risk. I'm no professional. I'm just a guy who doesn't know when to stop. Yeah. It's looking like it should just come right off. It, um, oh, maybe even we'll just... I should probably do this the other way and not burn my hands, but we'll see. It's hot fast. Okay. There's one side. Let's see if the other side will just peel off. So there you go. So I guess in reality we may not need that, but let's see, it's not too bad, not too warm. So there's nothing. One thing we might run into is we may need to take. All right. So let's look in here. So the side with and. Might need more light for this. The side with the chips on it. Uh, this was it right here. There's no... That's weird. There's like no thermal pads, no paste, nothing. It just sticks to the adhesive. That seems weird to me. Uh, we may need to steal this. This... Um, it's kind of like a, it's adhesive, but it's like a spacer. Because there's no chips on the back side, when we go to put our new heat spreader on, we're going to need something to make sure it's the right thickness. Q. 
keep our music going. All right. So I guess let's try to peel this off. That's weird. Okay. Store those. All right. As far as putting these on, Just take a quick look and see how this is going to work. Uh, just going to make sure they're centered. Which is something that you would normally wouldn't have to worry about. So, perfectly centered. It looks like we can just throw those thermal pads right on. Uh, really don't know. So where this isn't probably <laughs> probably doesn't do anything for thermals, maybe we would just we'll leave it. And for this piece, we will just cut it in half. I think, I think this is just half a millimeter, but whatever. Whoops. It's over there somewhere. And for those who want it to be aesthetically appealing, make sure it doesn't hang too low or you'll see it underneath but I mean I guess honestly you're not gonna see it anyway it's gonna be covered by the block all right so it's a little bit of overhang but whatever no big deal uh, which way do we want them to face? Do we want... we want logo out, right? So... let's see. We want it to be this way. Because this is the side that faces out, at least... Uh, with all the numbers and... stuff. I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, just make sure they're all facing the same way when you do it. We want this side down first. This is going to be the top. The side without the chips. I'm noticing now there's a side that has really soft plastic and really rigid plastic. So I should probably remove the rigid plastic first. I'm learning. If you're still there, Beardsley, how the hell are you? All right. How's the volume also since you're here?
All right, one down. So, I mean, you can almost see some of the pad, but by the time you click it in, you're not going to see anything. Uh, we'll save these half millimeter pads, though. Those will should fit right on top perfectly. the heat gun again just needs just a little bit Should be good there. Alright, there's that one. Now that we know what we're doing. Whoops. I guess there is one thing I probably forgot. And it's not something I'm super familiar with, so... It's just gonna be a learning process. As everything is. See, we're learning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And have it function without the heat spreader, but... So again, this... Goes on the back. All right, this is sleepy time music. I've been really into artist called uh, Dance with the Dead. If only. It was royalty free. I would play it. So good. Alright. Apparently you have to... Um... You have to be careful of... Like... How low... The actual the RAM PCB goes into the cover. This one looks like you, at least I hope that's how it works. It should work that way. You just put it up against the plate and it's good to go. You just have to worry about centering it, which if even if you're slightly off, it should be fine. All right, so that's it. 
all four of them are done. They're all facing the same way, which I didn't think I was going to have an issue with. Then I messed up the second one I did. So, what are these? These are, these are only 8 gig dims. So 32 gigs total. Yeah, good stuff. So let's see. And it looks like they're all... They might be spread out just a little bit. And so this will sit on top. Screw it down. Uh, unfortunately, that means I have to shut down and sign off. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you all soon. Hopefully. Until next time. This is Pyro. Peace out.